Right. Yeah, my name is Chris Cherry. I'm a professor in uh, civil environmental engineering at UT Knoxville. Uh, I'm working on an electric bike sharing program. Uh, we're on UT Knoxville. We're uh, developing a, a system in which we can uh, automatically uh, share electric bikes. We can vend these electric bikes out to, to users of the campus community, uh, community users. Uh, and they, they essentially can rent them for an hour, two hours to go to class, to go to different uh, oh, events cool. around campus, uh, or farther even, go grocery shopping and so on. The idea here is to get people that maybe wouldn't otherwise use a bicycle to use an electric assisted bicycle uh, that's easier to ha handle on the hills and so on. You can go a little farther with them and uh, get them to replace these short distance car trips that are, are made uh, around campus for these for going to class and, and crossing campus and so on. Uh, so uh, it's a fun project. I'm working with people in civil engineering, biosystems engineering, uh, and the Center for Transportation Research. Uh, and we're working on, on developing a better system where we can uh, start to get uh, more people on two wheels, uh, whether it's electric two wheels or, or yeah. traditional two wheels. So Get it back. Get yep. it back on it. So what's been the response so far from students? Uh, well, we haven't launched our program yet, but uh, okay. we've, we've had a lot of good responses at, at events like this. Uh, a lot of people are very interested. I love to see the f look on people's faces when they get on it and they, they, they feel the, the assistance of the bike and they can go up the hills around here without breaking a sweat. Oh, yeah. And uh, so it's great to see that. Uh, we really look forward to launching this system in the next month or so. Uh, we're going to have one station to start with and then pretty quickly hopefully have another station out there so we'll be able to gather a lot of data about how people use the system, uh, what people are, what kind of trips people are making, how far they're going, how they're dealing with hills, how much power is being used by the, by the electricity and how much the, the user themselves are putting in. We're going to answer all sorts of interesting research questions related to user, user perspective and so on. And, uh, and hopefully this, this will be the first time this ha uh, something like this is launched in the U.S. There's bicycle sharing systems out there, mm -hmm. but none yet have looked at electric bikes, electric bikes. and have tried to in integrate them into the system. So this will be the first system in the country, uh, and the first fully automated system in the world where uh, people can use this sort of system. A blow up view on the right is the kiosk there. Uh, and that, and uh, they'll, they'll go up to a touch screen, they'll say I want to check out an electric bike please and uh, wow. the system will automatically uh, unlock one of the bikes on the rack and it will automatically vend them a battery that's in the kiosk and those, those batteries are all being recharged. Wow. And, uh, and so A kiosk battery vending machine to go along with the rack. Yep. And so that kiosk is, is the size of maybe a very small vending machine, like Coke machine or refrigerator wow. or something like that. It's a couple feet wide by six feet so tall. So when are you estimating this to launch off? We're hoping to launch it in the next month. We're going to start with one station, and, and uh, we, we hope to have uh, one station in place in, within the next month, uh, early November maybe. And then uh, and we're still working out the details, of course, that assumes everything goes well. Uh, but we've, we've got all the equipment, we've got all the design done, we're just putting, putting it all together and uh, getting it in place. So we've got, we've got some work to do, but it, we're hoping to have uh, one station in place. We'll roll out a second one pretty shortly after that, and we'll uh, uh, eventually just have these two stations, maybe a third. We're trying to get solar uh, power I into it, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's something we're, uh, we're hoping to, to pull off.